Hi guys and happy Monday. I am doing a video today showing looks that are monochromatic, namely white on white. And why I'm doing this is because I think it gives a very chic look for summertime especially. I just think that there's just so many ways to pair them obviously because everything matches. Also, I've been very much into a monochromatic look this season. You might wanna check out the video I did on a whole monochromatic lookbook. I can give you guys a link to that as well as I've done a look like this for how to look taller. So check that video out too if you're interested in like how to look taller and how you can use this white on white look to do that. But today I'm just gonna show you all of the different looks that I have just pulled straight from my closet on how to basically pull together a white on white outfit look and let it look actually more than just plain. So let's get started. P.S. Everything is linked in the description as well. And you might ask too about, I get a lot of questions about like underwear and bras. So I will link those things in the description too so you guys can shop those. So I'm starting out with this Everlane oversized tee it's a really great basic and I love how it has longer sleeves that has been something that I've found to be one of my favorite t-shirt looks and I'm wearing it with my new Everlane white pants they are a cheeky jean that's an ankle length I did get them hemmed and they're actually more of a bone shade. I don't really mind if my white on white looks are not exactly the same shade of white. I think that's really hard to do and I just kind of prefer if they don't look exactly identical. One thing you might want to do is tuck in your shirt a little bit better than I did, but I do think that whenever I tuck in my shirt, it gives a longer, taller look in general. So right now this outfit's looking a little bit plain, a little basic, so I want to add some things to make it a lot more elevated. One being in a solo shoe, it's a mule, and it's got a really good heel on it. It's very comfortable. It's also a nude shade, so that's gonna look, make me look a little bit taller here. But overall, this outfit already looks a lot better just by adding a more chic shoe. It's not like I'm just hanging around the house. It's that I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna you know, wear nice shoes out, and I kind of want the attention to be more on the shoe than even the outfit. And next, I really think that any outfit can be elevated with some jewelry. I like to wear gold or brass jewelry as you might know and I like to layer different pieces of jewelry too that go together well so I'm going to add a bunch of necklaces and also my everyday rings and also a gold bangle as well just to add a little bit to it and overall this is already looking a lot better like a lot more chic a lot more put together and that's really what I'm looking for. So I want to switch up this look a little bit with a silk cami. Silk is absolutely amazing and refreshing for summertime but also a bonus is that it's double lined so you won't have to worry so much about how see-through it is and also it's got this beautiful neckline I love that it's like a v-neck it's really nice and flattering I just love it I love to wear it dressed up or dressed down so in this case with white jeans it just has a really nice casual like beachy vibe so I actually started this look with the shirt untucked um, which I know some people like to wear their shirts untucked but you know me i love to tuck in my shirts so that's the number one thing i did right away is tuck it in and this is how it looks now so next i want to add a necklace that's a bit longer and whenever you have like a shorter torso this is a really great tip is just to wear a longer necklace so I like to do that with these types of looks and overall I think that this outfit looks very put together, um, very classy and comfortable to wear in summertime too. So I'm going to switch it out for something that's a bit more formal. I love to wear these silk blouses, especially this time of year, but I do wear them all year long. They're such an essential part of my closet. So I have silk blouses in black and white. So today I'm wearing of course my white one. It's great for like an office look or something where you need to be a little bit more formal than just going out in the sunshine and laying out and stuff like that. So the, this look is very put together with it tucked in, but if you're going to go on like a date night or something like that, another way I like to wear this is with it tied in the front. So what I do is I'll tuck it in upwards in the back, like I'll just take the fabric, pull it up, and then I'll take the two pieces, the two um, ends of my shirt <laughs> it's hard to describe but then you just tie that up in the front and it gives it kind of like a it's got a little bit of skin showing but not too much the high-waisted pants 
are essential whenever I show some skin. I like to at least let it look classy and put together by having a high-waisted pant. So next, I wanna swap out the pants. So I'm going to now wear these linen pants that I love so much. Elizabeth Suzanne creates amazing linen pants. These ones are discontinued, but she has a bunch of other ones that are very similar, like the Andy trouser you might wanna check out. I'll leave a link in the description. But linen is great, of course, for summertime. It's so breathable and white linen especially, like you just can't beat it. So I'm actually wearing them with a higher shoe. Uh, I think that this whole outfit does look very put together, but the fact that I'm wearing like a higher, more structured shoe just gives this outfit a different look and just kind of comes together a little bit. Whenever in design you use very basic or minimal colors, you play with textures. So for this outfit, I've got the linen, which has one type of texture, which is very different than the silk. And then also, I've got the Cerrito wedges from Nisolo, and they have a wooden look on the edges of them. So that's kind of what I'm doing here, kind of subtly. I also kept all my necklaces on, and that just makes it look chic and kind of different than if I wasn't wearing any jewelry at all. So next, I wanna swap out my top for another cami. In this case, it looks like silk, but it's actually the Japanese Go Weave cami from Everlane. I love this neckline. Like, it's different than anything else I have it in my closet, um, where it's like a straight across neckline. It has a very different look than a lot of the other things I usually reach for, and I really like that look. Again, this one is double lined, so you don't have to worry about that. And then of course, I'm gonna tuck it in. I feel like if I lived next to the beach, I would wear this outfit every day. <laughs> like it just has that perfect, like essential beach look that I just think is so amazing and so comfortable. Like I wouldn't sweat in this at all. I just love it. Okay, I'm going to switch to a silk top that is from Elizabeth Suzanne. It's one of my most chic cuts that I own in my closet and I just love it so much. It's great for this like white on white look because the shape itself is just so gorgeous and I love to show that off. So after I tuck in the shirt, there's also some things I wanna do. One is that this necklace kind of is doing something weird with the fabric and so I'm just going to take off the longest necklace so that I only have my shorter ones and I think that that has a really nice look. Also I want to kind of roll up the sleeves a little bit because I want this outfit to look a little less unstructured and have more of a defined look but and either way is really great. I just prefer to kind of roll up my sleeves, show a little bit of the skin here. I like to also wear like three quarter length shirts so that's just kind of how I tend to wear my shirts. So next I'm going to switch to a crop top. Now I know that crop tops are not normally considered chic but again if I wear something that is showing a little bit of skin I can wear a high-waisted pant and then it just looks put together again. So that's the look that I have right now. Again I don't mind if my pants are a little bit more ivory or natural colored and my shirt is wider like that's just totally fine but this look is very comfortable and I just love to wear it and it still looks pretty ladylike. I really love it for summertime. And speaking of this crop top, also I just noticed last week Everlane released their whole crop top selection again this year. This shirt is actually from last year, so I'm super excited to be able to have more crop top selections. So I've got some on the way and I'm just so excited. <laughs> they cost like 15 bucks, so they're super affordable. So I couldn't make a summer lookbook video and not include shorts, so I in this video, I'm wearing my Jessie Cam cutoff shorts. I got them last year and they're already in a salt color, so they're not exactly completely white. They're also a year old, so they're not exactly like bright white at all. But again, I like the look of having like two different colors of white. That's totally fine in my book. Also, if you want any tips on how to take care of your white clothes, I have a video that I did like last month that I can link you guys to. It was really helpful because I actually asked a bunch of people in my Instagram community for tips. And so the whole video is not just my tips, but like a whole community of how to take care of your clothes. And it was super helpful. So yeah, definitely check that out if you're looking for how to take care of your white clothes. But here for the Jesse Cam cutoff shorts, I just love them because they're cut off so you can see the phrase if you want to. I like to roll mine just a little bit 
because I like the look of a longer short, but you could definitely keep rolling them if you wanted shorter shorts. I also got the pockets cut out of these shorts, which is a great tip if you have like tighter shorts at all. You might also notice that I'm wearing my mules, which have a lower heel, and I got a link to them. They're really great shoes. I've had them for a while, but I think it's important if I'm wearing shorts and flats, basically, that I'm wearing ones that are nude, because that'll make my legs look a bit longer. So next I'm going to switch to a super fun top for summertime. It's this ruffle top by Reformation. The shorts actually keep this look very casual, but I have dressed this shirt up quite a bit too with like a skirt and it gives a great Parisian vibe. But honestly, you could wear this shirt by the pool. Like it would just be such a great look if you're just going to spend time outside. Another super light fabric that I like to wear is this Everlane Air Cami. It's basically a tank top that has more of a like a low cut look. It's honestly, just the lightest cotton fabric that I own. Because this fabric is super thin, a lot of people ask me like, what do I wear underneath it for like a bra? I like to wear nippies by Bristol Six, so I will give a link down below where you kind of can find those, but they're great for summertime when you wear like off the shoulder things or anything like that. Speaking of off the shoulder tops, that's what I'm wearing now, which is such a cute look. This is one of my favorite shirts that I have for summertime. I bought it this past spring, so I will try to find like links on ones that are very similar Everybody has these types of tops, so it won't be too hard to find. I just love the look of this. It's very like princess chic, but at the same time, it's very comfortable and forgiving. Immediately when I put this on, I feel like my hips aren't as much of a noticeable figure. Like it's something that gives me more balance to my look, which is more pear-shaped. This just has a really great look altogether. I had a lot of fun wearing this top in Florida. I just think that it is so incredibly light comfortable and fun to wear. And then finally for this outfit, I'm going to try on my Cerrito wedges by Nasolo. They're probably my favorite shoe to wear right now just because they're so summery and just make me look taller and they just add a different type of look to any outfit. Because I'm wearing shorts, I feel like this is just a great look to be able to wear with shorts. Overall, this is a really great look if I was going to go on a little date night or anything like that. These wedges are awesome too, by the way, if you want to sit down and like if you are one of those people like me who have shorter legs, these just help me sit comfortably and not have like knee pain or anything like that. I know that might sound weird to some people, but if you know what it's like to have shorter legs, you know what I'm talking about. AKA my feet don't touch the ground. <laughs> So let me know in the comments which of these outfits was your favorite. I'd love to hear it. And don't forget to give this video a like and to subscribe. And I post three times a week, usually. So I'm super excited to see you guys on Wednesday. See you then, bye.